Hey guys, this is Drea. So, today, oh, I just noticed my face is dirty. Sorry. It's been a very, very busy day. Um, we, Joel and I, were working on uh, a fence. I'll let her finish. Um, a fence job today that uh, took us all day. We were on there working on that all day. Anyways, um, everything was buttoned up before we left and we came home. This is just, I'm just letting you know kind of how our days go. <laughs> Lots of times it does not go very smoothly. So anyways, um, so we were working on a fence job, put a full day on that, um, come home and we see the animals everywhere. The goats are spread around, couldn't see the sheep anywhere, which we were, we went to the worst case scenario, they're gone. They just ran because we've had a couple sheep that just, just went on us and it took us forever to get them. And then, and then uh, Heather and her calf were with the range cattle that like to wander all over. So we were pretty stressed out when we got home because Heather's not so easy to get and we did not think um, she would come to her oats because it's happened once before she's gotten out of her pen and um, she was not cooperating and coming to her oats. So we were pretty like, oh great, we were freaked out, didn't know what was going to happen. Anyways, quickly ran to the house, got some oats and um, and started shaking the buckets and came in the... Oh, so how they got out was I, this morning, as we're getting ready to go, I quickly fed them and watered them. And I, um, I don't even know why actually, but for some reason I turned the fence off. It must have been, oh yeah, I had to pop over to get the hay in there for them. And um, turned the fence on, off, forgot to turn it back on. So it was my fault why everybody got out. But um, anyways... Yeah, so the fence was down in like four different sections because somebody figured out that it was turned off and so they all kind of just knocked it down. So um, anyways, we put it back up and we opened it up and then just shook the bucket of oats. And sure enough, they all came running, which was so, uh, we were very grateful because everybody came. It was no problem. And we found the sheep. They were just tucked in the shade over by our little falling down barn but it's gonna hang in there for this winter I'll show you right there that's the barn if I'm pointing right anyways that's the barn <laughs> um yeah so they all came in the pen very easily so that was actually um really nice that went smoothly but we decided okay we need to get a solid pen up because for probably about um a week and a half we have not moved them we bought hay and since the grass is just, you can see it in the background, it's just too dead. You, they can't live off of that anymore. So um, they've been stationary in this pen for about a week. And we've just been feeding them hay. But um, it's not a solid pen. And they have actually knocked it down before with it being on. So it's been something we've been wanting to do. Get them in a winter pen, a solid pen. Um, and we had started on it. I'll turn. It's finished now. But we have started on it as you can see um, we had put all the posts up and everything so that worked out we did that last week sometime but we didn't have the chance to finish it put the fencing up so tonight we decided okay that's got to get done we're putting it up so I'll take you over to it and um, which by the way we are truly sorry that we've been so bad about posting videos it's been busy today is just a little sample of what our day is go like. It usually doesn't go according to plan. We've been working on this for a few hours actually. Um, so you can see the post in the four corners and then the field fencing and the T-post in between and then Joel did this hot wire. Just, I don't know if it's on yet. No, it's not on yet. But anyways, um, just for extra safety because this winter we're gonna get a lot of snow and the snow is going to build up and just to make sure that Heather and her calf are not going to get out or anything and even the goats, you know, with hot wire on the top, it's definitely going to deter them from hopping over or climbing out because, um, yeah, we just, since that snow is going to build up, we want to make sure there is definitely something to say, nope, don't even try it. So, um, 
take you around. Oh, here's Maya's puppy. Puppy, puppy. Anyways. So we'll take you over to Joel and see what he is up to. How's it going? Pretty good. I am separating the stainless steel strands and the ends of the rope, twisting them together so we can hook them up and then I'll hook them up to the fence charger in the morning when we move the animals in. This pen is a little bit fast and furious. It's going to need some refining before winter, but we needed to get it up. And, um, I'm sure Adria told you what happened today, so we needed to get this up and going. The hot strand is purely just to keep them from pushing on the fence. Um, I wanted it established there anyhow because as the snow builds up in this pen, they're going to be higher and they're going to be kind of looking over the top of that fence and thinking about taking a run for it. So I wanted to have these hot strands here and there's a range bull on the loose and he comes up here all the time. They, they have open range law here so they have uh, range cattle all over. And they come up and the bull comes up and he'll be tempted to push his fence and hopefully this will uh, make him go for the easier cows that aren't fenced in. So this will be a, the temporary fence for now. Eventually put a 16 foot fence in. Uh, we're going to drive a T-post here. It's just a, a cattle panel and I've hinged it on fencing tacks down there. Put a T-post here in the middle and a T-post on the end to support it. In the morning we'll untie this, open the fence, move all the animals in, and then set this back up for the day kind of like that yeah and then what I've done here I didn't have proper insulators you can see my post needs a little work so I've reinforced it here but what I'll do is some wire and then these are the fencing taxes that I've used as hinges and these were insulators these were a t-post insulator um, they have a big kind of oblong clip on the back to go on a t-post and I cut those off with a pair pair of snips and then just ran one screw through them so it holds them on there for now and we just stretch the wire and put the wire up in between. It's a little droopy. I'll get a little more attention out of it. But hopefully that'll keep them in and keep them from uh, going. We swapped to hay. Most of the grass has gone dormant, dormant on us anyhow. Um, we've had some really heavy frosts. We're, we're actually over 4,000 feet elevation here. We've had two really heavy frosts already. And so winter is coming. So this is where they are winter. I will refine it refine it there'll be a cattle shed and be a couple other things this old barn here we're actually going to put some metal on the roof and fix it up it's an old abandoned building that was on a property right now it has all our household goods that we own in it because we have no other structure on the property i'm still building on the barn and so it's an old we're putting fresh metal on the roof actually recycled metal um but it has cedar shakes on it right now we're going to store our hay in one one third of it and the other two thirds will be animals and and uh, lambing in the spring and stuff like that. And then we'll have our ducks and our chickens off the other side. And this will be, um, depending on the weather, this will be the goat and cattle pen right here. And we'll have a cattle shed off this side here. So lots of work to do before winter. And I still haven't got our house done. So we're pushing on that. But yeah, so that's where I'm at. I'm trying to get this set up so we can put them in here tomorrow. Because Drea, I'm making Drea work like a man right now. She's working a job with me building a fence. So. That's should, all I got to say. Should we uh, tell them about Moses? Yeah, or... we could tell them about how Moses is doing. So the little the little lamb that had goiters, we called him Moses because he's a miracle baby, just like the other Moses. And we've given him iodine, iodine, excuse me, under the tail to absorb. Um, I don't know if it worked. We gave them the selenium shot. You folks saw that. And now they have granulated uh, essential minerals that have iodine in them. It's going to make it. Can you help your little sister there, Avalyn? You better fix that. She got it. Stop. She got a bungee cord stuck in her hair. All fixed. All right, let's go see Moses. Come here right now and you can look in right now and see baby Moses nursing. Well, uh -huh. Mama just moved, but he was just nursing on her. And there's there Bambi is. and Moses. All right, we'll head in there. Him and Bambi both are lively. And they're both very lively sheep. 
He's actually a little taller than his sister, and his strength is coming in. And his coiners are shrinking and softening and don't seem quite so sensitive. He's a little playful. Over here in this little bin over here, you can see the granulated minerals. We got it low enough that the little guys can get some too if they need some. And uh, they've all had a little bit of a taste on that. So yeah, uh, you, I mean, you can just see he's doing much, much better. He likes to nibble on clothes. Likes to, thank you. But yeah, so, and this is Bambi, she's doing good. She's not quite as affectionate. She hasn't had as much hold time as, as baby brother has because we didn't think he was going to make it, but he's making it. And so, yeah, she's doing good. And there's baby Moses. Baby. <laughs> yeah. yeah, sweet little he's guy. He's doing pretty good. All right, let's sit him down. And he's been nursing. We want to wait till they get a little bit long, taller, a little bit stronger. Uh, we don't really want him getting too many shocks by an electric fence at this point. So uh, we'll just keep her going in here. She's eating well, gets lot plenty of fresh water, and uh, we'll see. We'll see how they end up. And thank you for watching. <laughs> Here's another nice little thing that we got to come home to today. Um, before I show you, let me tell you our couple of our ducks have been escaping and they've been flying out of the pen anyways we obviously didn't catch it we must have went to bed woke up in the morning or they flew out in the morning I don't know but uh, a couple of ducks dead and Briar our dog that we know kills chickens and stuff was hooked up and Bramble was free so Bramble our other German Shepherd is now a bird killer which is very disappointing so he the chickens are escaping now too because they uh, their wings grew out and next time in the future when we clip their wings we're clipping both just because we're surprised they've already grown out so much um, this quickly to be able to fly over the pen so we do have to clip them again but at the moment we haven't had a chance and they have been flying over the pen so we've just been like forget it they're just gonna be free so Briar has been hooked up, and now Bramble, today, we had to hook him up this morning because we were leaving. And so we didn't want our chickens getting killed because we caught him with a chicken in his mouth the other day, but we were able to save the chicken before it was killed. Anyways, and this is the little lovely surprise that we came home to. Hi, Mama. Hi. Can you see that big mess there? That was all covered. That is our big hoop coop that we, uh, the puppies were in for a while. And Bramble has took it upon himself to shred it to pieces. He's also hooked up on a swing right now <laughs> because we only have one lead. And so our other German Shepherd is on the, the lead because we know she's a chicken killer. Um, and also she runs off. She explores when we leave the property. Bramble never did. Bramble's fine to leave off. But today we had to have him hooked up because he, we didn't want him killing any birds. And so he was hooked up on a swing because that's all we had. And that is the trouble that he made today. So yeah, that was another lovely surprise that we came home to today. Huh, Bramble? Bramble? Is that what you did? Yeah, he does not like being on the lead. But tomorrow, if we get off work a little bit early, maybe not. Um, even so, I think we can probably squeeze in um, clipping the bird's wings and hopefully transferring them into the duck pen. It's going to be a little crowded for a little bit until we get a chance to build a bigger pen or you just even add on um, to that pen. Um but at least if they are all in a secure spot, I guess they could just stay in their pen that they're in. Didn't think about that, that works. Um, but we just have to clip their wings so they don't fly out of it. Once they are all secure, then he can be off again. And then Briar can be off as well because we don't have to worry about animals getting killed. So anyways, um, yeah, so there's lots of cleanup we gotta do tonight. All right, well, you guys take care. And that's just an example of one of our very crazy days that go don't go according to plan <laughs> all right you guys take care bye-bye